What I'd like to talk to you about is my platform as governor. What you get when voting for me for the nationalist ticket. Um, the, I'd like to call my platform like the Great Society because that's one of the uh, political like pastimes that I've always looked up to is LBJ's Great Society. And I think the main tenets of that are first education. Um, improving school systems are, is a great way to improve the society, the community, and make everything more cohesive, uh, make, you know, obviously people more educated, and make them more willing to go and be prosperous, uh, be, su be successful citizens. Uh, but the second is a strong community, community involvement, schools, infrastructure, allowing people to have a safe environment and be able to do what they want to do. Farming is a big part of this in the sense that people deserve water rights, People deserve to be able to have, uh, use pesticides in the land that they need to use um, without any sort of regulation. Because I don't think the government needs to be stepping in regulating us. The government should be there to ensure that we have an equal footing and that we can then prosper under that system. They shouldn't be helping us. No government handouts. And then third is a greener future. Obviously, windmills are a good alternative use of energy. Uh, we can use natural gas as a clean, cheap form of energy that's in Kansas right now. Just make things better for Kansans, allow us to grow up in a clean environment and a very successful environment. Um, and the, the one thing that you would get voting for me is I pledge to make one half or whatever the equivalent is, if it's an odd number, of my appointed positions federalist candidates so that we will form a coalition government, we'll compromise, we'll be able to bring across federalists in the general election and we can ensure a nationalist victory tomorrow morning when we have our, our general election. So when you're looking about electability here, you're going to see that I'm a pretty moderate candidate, and I represent your views. I represent what you want. But then I also represent what Federalists can achieve, too. Of course, we'll have a majority, or a slight majority at least, but we'll also draw Federalists in. We'll draw people across the, the aisle, and we'll be able to win in the general election. That's what I can offer you best. That's what I think is the best way to actually govern this mock state here today. And I, I thank you for uh, allowing me to speak to you, and I thank you uh, for your at least consideration in supporting me and my candidacy for governor. Thank you very much. The completely unregulated pesticides, I think, is a misnomer. I think when farmers have the use of pesticides, it's, of course, cleaning their own plot of land, their own environment. But then also, of course, if it's leaching into someone else's land, when it's actually poisoning other land use, then it's going to, of course, become an issue. Pesticide use on their own land, however, will be unregulated. Education, I think, teacher retention allowing teachers to get their, uh, their master's degree free of cost that's covered by the school district or the state will allow them to stay and become great teachers because, of course, students learn best from teachers who have been there for the longest.